Hello and welcome to The Axe, the show where we make an act with these dice, right? Now, we don't actually do an act with these dice, but they give us the stuff we've got to make an act for. Uh, so this one is a budget dice, does what it says on the dice. Uh, £25, £50, £100, £200, £200 pound, etc. We have to meet this budget. Then we've got this. This gives us what type of act we've got to make. A mystery act, a stage act, a parlour act, an impromptu act, a table act, a close-up act, a strolling act. All right, all of those. Then we roll these dice and do that. But <laughs> wait, there's more. One more dice, ladies and gentlemen. This is the restriction dice. Now, no talking doesn't mean no talking in the video. It means no talking in the act, all right? So a silent act. Going to be very funny, silent uh, close-up acts, but that could obviously mean you're performing in a nightclub and audio is not easily heard. So on this one, we've got no talking, no cards, no sleight of hand, no coins, no Adakazam product, which might as well mean no commercial killer, instant reset, must-have items. And the last one is no mentalism. Um, which is cool. So we will roll the dice, see what we end up with. Right, here we go. Right, you know, I caught it. There you go. I caught it on a 200 plus. <laughs> so we'll have a 200 plus one. How about that? Right, next one. Parlor. Right, right, that is cheating. I can't do it again. Oh my gosh. Ah! Stay on the table, yeah. Stage act. 200 plus stage act. Restriction dice. Let's have it. Here we go. Three, two. No talking. Are you joking me? <laughs> That is, I'm actually a little bit of vex at that, I can't lie. We move. No talking, 200 plus. Right, give me one second, let me have a think about it. Hold up. Do you know what is good? Stage. Matthew Garrett, Linkin Rings, isn't it? Don't have to really talk with that. Okay. Um, needs to be visual, doesn't it? Do you know what is good? Do you know what we could have? Oh my word. Okay. I've got a cool, I think I've got a cool thing here. This is in Budget Extractor. That is, I'm getting that now. Because I have got the most insane idea ever. Talk us through it. All right. No talking. Bearing in mind you've got no talking. Yeah, no talking starts. I go up there, I've got tape in my mouth. Bang, done. Because then you can't talk. You then have the card signed by everyone around the table. That will then end up Mercury card folded in your mouth. So you undo the thing and you've got that in there as a finale that's been there the whole time. Nice. That is, do you know what? I could just end it there, couldn't I? But I won't because we've got the luxury of a high budget and let's go for it. Do you um, know the thing this week? We don't have to tut up. Yeah. How much is that? £75. All right, that's fine. Don't worry about it. But to be fair, can I just say extractor should actually be more than that. The amount you guys are going to use it is killer. Um... So, a lot of visual stuff. Obviously, chop cup, you can do. It's a table, isn't it? Chop cup. Nice. Was it table or stage? Stage. God yeah, damn it. Stage. Oh. But that's great for stage deal. Yeah. What you just said would be a great little stage dash parlour act. Yep. Exactly. Oh, this is throwing me off, man. I'm having a brain fart. I'm having absolute... Because this, flower, so that gives you a bit of comedy. Right, I can't lie to you. I'm struggling with the no talking, but Andy is my saviour. Andy, <laughs> I need you. Are summoned. I'm summoned. Do you like the top? That is so That's nice. So look nice. at it. So nice. Look, look, I just look. do like like this. <laughs> eh? Right, I'm not going to be able to concentrate on the act, now, am I? It's going to be like that the whole time. Drooling. So, um, so yeah, we were just like talking, yep. right? And uh, I said to you that maybe what you could do is you could uh, start off with something that becomes like a running thing throughout the, the act. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to just realise that these ideas, you know, even though they will make an act, yep. you know, they're, they're possibly not something that, um, you, that you would think ordinary would go together if that kind of makes yeah, sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So maybe something like the chain escape. Yeah, right. I've never done that. You do that, don't you? Yeah, I I've do never the chain done escape. that. Yeah, um, so the chain escape is really good, really easy to use, um, very, uh, very, very funny. Um, Anton Linden has a wonderful routine with this that, come, that he does like with a straight jacket and a curtain and nice. stuff. But you could come on with this attached, right? right? So you're already shackled. Yeah. Right? So you walk on. Uh, you don't need to do anything uh, talking wise. It's all about the facial gestures and the way that you're interacting with the, with the audience. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, if it's for the stage, obviously you're going to be able to walk from somewhere to an audience, right? Yep. So walk down to the front row, maybe pick out a few people that you can get to like pull on 
uh, pull on the chain escape. For anybody who doesn't know what this is, is a very quick way of getting in and out of uh, being shackled, basically. Nice. So at any time you can release either of the hands or both hands, right? Nice. So what you could do is as you're walking along, maybe you see a, a good looking girl in the front row. So, you know, you, you kind of like look at her, walk past her, get a, come back, get her to sort of like hold on to this tug it, obviously. And then you walk a few, you turn around and then you point to her and you blow her a kiss, right? And then you get back in it. That's the first comic thing. You walk back along, you get to another person, they tug it, maybe do something with that. Then get to a, a like a male mm -hmm. who, you know, for some reason, yep. right, you're not taking a liking to. Yep. So they, they tug on it. And then you step back and you're kind of like, all right, you know. Mm. Um, and then as you go to walk away, you then do the thing, you know, where you go like that. Nice. Yep. Right? And then you walk, you get a few more people to tug it, you walk back up the, the steps and then you ask someone to come out of the audience, right? So they're going to come out of the audience. They don't acknowledge what you're doing, first of all. And then you, you go to them like this, right? So obviously that's another comment moment. They get to the top of the stairs or as they're approaching you, they then tug on it. Then you could go into something um, like the pro card duck, right? Nice. So yep. pro card duck would be great. Let me grab it. Yeah. How would you do this without speaking? So um, you would have someone wheel on the, the duck itself, right? With a deck of cards already set, right? So we're going to force the wrong card, right? We're going to, sorry, we're going to force a card, but what we're going to reveal with the card duck is the wrong card, if that kind of makes sense, right? So there's going to be a bit of audience management. I'll leave you guys to work out the, the few details of it, but basically you want to force a card and then end up with the wrong card. Now, obviously um, forcing the card, could be easy. The false card could be on top of the deck, mm -hmm. right? And then you go through like a, a cutting procedure, a false cut procedure, something like the JOC cut, mm -hmm. right? And then you get the cards for, forced just using like a Chris cut force, yeah? Uh, or a Svengali deck. Uh, maybe not a Svengali deck, but something like a, a cross cut force. So that forces a card that we're going to reveal later on in the, in the finale bit, mm. yeah? Um, they go. They then shuffle it up, and all the all the time this is happening. Remember, you can your arm can be coming out still as you say to them like this. You know, cut the deck without yep. saying cut the deck, and then you go like this. Right? Mm -hmm. They do the cross cut force on themselves, and then you've got this moment where you can look at the lady again, look at the bloke, do whatever like hand gestures and stuff, and but keep reinforcing the fact that you're still locked up in here, yep. right? And then um, you go through the revelation part. Um, I mean, the revelation part would be the most difficult bit because obviously you have to operate that, but that's fine. You get them to pick it up and then you take your hand out and take it off of them. So maybe at this point you've come out of one of the shackles. Yep. Right. I think you need to, if we're going to do that as well. Yeah. yeah. Come out. Um, yeah. I mean, if you're going to incorporate that, um, th then you could decide when you're going to fit that mm. in. But yeah, then you, you obviously operate, you get the wrong card, right? Um, because you've got this wonderful moment where that you force the card on them, but they can shuffle up the cards. Right, and then you just produce the wrong card at the end. Then, obviously, that that is that you get someone to sort of tug on this again, right? Then, if you want to do something like the E two, yeah. maybe you could incorporate that that in at that point, mm -hmm. uh, depending on what. Well, arm we has don't come need out. that. Forget that for now. Okay, don't worry about it for I, now. I, so, what I was thinking is, what you just said would be great. So, start with um, your thing coming up onto the stage. Yeah. So you've got that, but you've got tape over your mouth as well. Yeah, yeah. So it looks wrong, the fact that you've got tape over your mouth and you're shackled up. Yeah. Right? So you've got that. <clears throat> as you come up, you get your escape. Yeah. So then the big thing is you've escaped. So that's the first stage, but then you point to your mouth and you've still got tape on your mouth. Yeah. So then you bring out a deck of cards and you have one picked and this is E2. Yeah. Um, you place it inside the box and obviously the E2 allows you to... Yeah. do something with that um, and then you grab a hold of your duck yeah. and you make it look like you take the cards out of the box and put it in of course you're not doing yep. that you put it in the card duck or you can have a deck in already in there um, and you get the duck to pull one out yeah. and it's not the right one yeah so then you get it to pull the right, which is what you said about getting it wrong. Yeah. So then it pulls out another one. It's still not the right one. Next one, not the right one. Next one, not the right one. Next one, not the right one. All the way through, none of them are the right ones. And then that's when you peel it off of your mouth and one card's folded up in your mouth 
and that's where Harry ends up. And yeah, then it closes yeah, up it's perfect. Sort of so it's along the similar sort of lines to what we were talking there. Mm. I, I didn't have the, when we were talking about this, obviously I wasn't incorporating the E2 at that mm. point, but yeah, that's, that's great. Uh, if you didn't want to incorporate that and you wanted to carry on with the theme, then, you know, a dove pan for a revelation of the correct card. Um, again, you can have like the thing with the lighter fluid. You know, I think there's, there's plenty of, the thing is about doing stuff without talking is like you said it's it's the situation around it coming out with your arms shackled and tape over your mouth is immediately funny to everybody yeah. because they're thinking what is this weirdo doing you know you know what would be great is if the duck looked like a gangster yeah so it had like a gangster hat with like a little um, tommy gun yeah on there and then they introduce you just saying um that the duck's taken over the act and you come on with your hand shackled yeah and your mouth so nice. it's like he's the magician. Yeah, yeah nice. So when he comes on and he's got a deck of cards ready in the middle of the thing, that's yeah. like your... Yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I think there's there's plenty of scope in everything that has just been said there. I mean, I'm looking over there. Dizzy Dots, for example, mm -hmm. would be perfect for to walk on to, to do without talking. Yep. You know, um, any rope tricks, I think, are, are pretty good without about without talking. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and anything that you can... Eat, you get the humour. Cardiograph. Cardiograph, yep. uh, the cups and balls, the comedy glass, uh, the paper cones. Flush powder. Yeah, split yeah. die box. You know, they're all they're all subject to be done without talking, providing you, you're you good at, like, transmitting moments of humour in, in yeah. it. I think that's the important thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. You definitely. know, and that idea with the card in mouth mm. would be great because it's, it's immediately humorous. Um, and, you know, people instinctively know what, you know, he isn't talking, obviously, because he's got that thing over his mouth. So they'll think that that has nothing to do with the effect at yeah. first, and then you get an effect out of it. Nice. So, yeah, brilliant. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, any, uh, you know, it's surprising, actually, even though we were saying at the beginning, or you were saying mm. that you were having trouble, that once you actually start looking, you oh, go, definitely. Well, yeah, yeah. you know, um, stuff with balloons. You know, there was the balloon swallow, um, which uh, John Archer does um, on Unlimited, I believe it's on there. Is it on there? It's not yet. It's no. not yet, but oh, you know. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will just be quiet. Um, but yeah, anything like like that—the drooping flower, the knife through knife through arm. You know, it's uh, yeah. Um, the the frame there with the yep. card in. Obviously, any manipulation you want to do as well. Any manipulation, yeah. So, uh, jumbo cartoon, I guess, could probably transmit yep. a little bit. Uh, the growl, you could you could do, um, you could you could do silently as long as you've got a way of directing. Well, you got a big what you want to have. One fifty two, and it just spin it around. That's yeah, right. yeah. Do it like a flip chart, uh, yeah. a little bit like silent treatment. Silent treatment. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Nice. So there's, there's, there, there is a lot, but I, I think. We, we, you know, we're we're so used to having hmm. scripts and and talking acts that actually that, that having a having a non-talking act, I think, would Challenges actually be quite you, good. It? Yeah, it I think it'd be quite good. Way, for sure. Yeah. So um, yeah, nice. loads of great stuff. Well, I think that's it then. I think that's the act right there. We haven't really used the budget. I can't lie to you, but it's fine. It's fine, isn't it? So. Yeah, I think it's good. I think that's a nice act. I think it's solid. I think it's got bits of comedy in there. Yeah. I think it's good. Entertaining, funny, and 15 minutes without a doubt. Isn't it? Without a shadow of a doubt. Nice one. I think that's it. No talking. £200 stage act. Boom, bada, bing, bong. <laughs>